Guys, hi, my name is Gareth Ulf here. Um, I'm a lecturer on the online CTA um, and I work with a great um, team of lecturers of about eight of us um, who, who run the program. A question we get a lot is, what is this online CTA? I think online means a lot of different things to a lot of people. So if you've had a chance to kind of read up about a, a, a few of the facts of the program and just generally what it entails, oftentimes people still think, Okay, so so what is it really? And, and that's something I, I thought would be nice to explore um, just in this short video, just to give you um, a, a bit of background on, on what we do. What I'm trying, what, I, what I'll try and do is just uh, give a lot of pictures and give give insight into into a lot of what what we believe and hopefully how it can how it can help and give you a sense of, of what everything involves when we talk about this um, online uh, CTA. So I think we must start, I guess, about what we believe about education and what it is. And I think as a starting point, it's a conversation with, within a community. So if I can go through a few pictures, um, we see this type of thing. Uh, we see this type of thing, everyone kind of around the table and, and, and chatting. Uh, we kind of see this thing with, with people learning together. These are the key aspects um, about learning that, that we believe are absolutely critical. And specifically when we're in the context of talking about becoming a chartered accountant and what does that take? We don't think you can become a chartered accountant just by reading a book and struggling on your own and just miraculously one day you pop out as this amazing chartered accountant who can solve problems and deal with teams and deal with people and, and really add the value to the world that, that we believe a, a chartered accountant um, really embodies. Um, and, and, and that's why our view on education is embodied by these types of pictures, groups, discussions, talking in person, discussing, debating, getting together, um, and, and certainly not this idea of just being um, on your own and needing to figure things out. And, and the key words that, that we speak about when we develop the online um, CTA, we talk about things like active community, uh, teamwork, partnership, um, a guided process, a supported process, um, genuine care, um, and at the heart of it, a course that's all about people. I think often if we think online, we think, oh, we're just going to be dealing with a computer or oh, it's completely separate from, from real life. I think a key aspect we really focused on when we um, designed the program was all around how can we make this about people, but using the benefit um, of, of online resources, uh, things like videos, things like discussion forums, things like uh, the ability to interact in groups wherever we are all around the idea that we must create communities of discussion and debate and interactive thought so that we can become great problem solvers because that's what we believe um, is, is the heart of the, the, the CA. So I'm going to run through a few things about um, the, the postgrad accounting course that, that we run and, and what kind of it involves, but that's the heart of it and that's what we're trying to, trying to get to. So if we think of almost what do we do each week, I think this is a course that we specifically designed around the fact that it could be done part-time, um, it could be done full-time, and it, it really depends on you. Uh, we don't want to prescribe to you, this is what, what, it, what it takes, this is when you need to engage it, this is what you need to do. We, we understand and we know everyone's different, so we want to design a flexible program um, around your life. So, so whether you're full-time, whether you're part-time, whether you're working, whether you've got other commitments, whether you're traveling, these are all important things that shouldn't get in the way of your studying. So that's really how we how we designed the, the the program that said of course it's the final year of chartered accounting study so it's going to be tough it's going to be hard so we're never going to sit here and say uh, come to us it's an easy solution because that's simply not going to make you a good um, chartered accountant it generally takes most people around 40 hours of active work per week uh, for, for the duration of the course and that'll be spread across across four subjects so yes the program is flexible um, but but it does still take significant time and and if you're not doing it full time um, of course there would be a lot of work um, evenings uh, weekends um, outside of typical office hours but from a program design point of view we want to make that easily accessible for you to in, engage in the program so we don't want those to be reasons uh, that that you can't do do the program because of either your hours um, or or your location so let's look at what the typical week um, would would look like we we start almost with a process of, of content which we, we call lessons. I mean of course we need a starting point um, and a, if we talk about education as a guided and supported process you need to know where, where you're going. So all the discussion and debate in the world 
isn't particularly useful if we don't have a good solid foundation and 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 starting point so these are the types of things that that the week in any subject would start start off with so we we often refer to these as foundation activities and, and this is for example a, a, a lesson from financial reporting uh, we see um, lesson one lesson two lesson three uh, lesson 4.1 4.2 etc within each one of these lessons we have a guided process that you would you would work through so for example if you click on uh, lesson 4.1 Lesson 4.1 says start off by reading X, Y, and Z and do this activity and, and gives give some text. Um, we then typically go into something like a video, which is interactive and, and, and discussive. And uh, you'll see similar to, to almost the video I'm making right now where we can, we can draw and highlight things uh, and we can work with some numbers and, and, and we can really get into an, an explanation of that. Um, and these things are pre-recorded, so these can be done um, at, at, at any time. Um, and, and they can obviously be watched and re-watched um, sped up if you if you can work a bit faster, um, but they really lay the foundation for for the concepts and the content. Um, and then we have a lot of uh, just short questions just to test you um, on are you are you conceptualizing and getting um, what what is being communicated. Um, and then we of course also have some longer uh, questions where it's almost getting closer to to an actual um, full question or almost a, a, a test or exam standard. Um, and they will take you through a slightly longer question, and we can we can annotate and write. Um, on on the video and almost explain things as we go along. So that that's almost each of these would be encapsulated with within a lesson, obviously differing according to to how the lesson works and what what content um, it is that we're covering. We then have, after we've almost covered the content, so we all have a, a solid understanding and basis. We then get onto practice questions, uh, past tests and exams. Um, there, there's an extent of working through these on your own and practicing these, um, but then these also followed up with similar videos like this where we give feedback and we work through it with you and, you, and, we, and we talk about did you think about this did you think about that and we really get into to the heart of it and we can really um, unpack what the question required um, and then of course we speak about things like um, exam technique study technique how do we approach this question what else would we think about what if the test or exam said this what if it said that um, so we can really be dynamic and work around those those types of of questions that's kind of it from the the, the almost the, the the recorded teaching um, side of things. Um, when we get to tests, um, tests and exams are the one aspect of the program that you do have to go to a physical location for. Um, we normally cater to to Southern Africa. Um, with within South Africa, then then Namibia and and Zimbabwe. Um, for the for the more remote areas and and the ones where there are less students, um, we of course require you to just chat to us and 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 make sure we can organize a test venue for you. Our principle is we try to ensure that you don't have to travel more than 50 kilometers um, to, to your test venue. So that's what um, we look at. Um, so if, you, if you're within South Africa, um, it, or certainly in a main center, there'll definitely be locations around South Africa. We have 42 test centers. Um, but, but if you're in a more remote area or outside of South Africa, we'd recommend getting hold of us. Um, we also do cater to students in the rest of the world. So if, if you are somewhere else, we'd also recommend getting hold of us um, and we can see what we can do to accommodate you. Okay, from a support point of view, so we've spoken almost up to now about what we uh, do from almost a recorded and basis level um, of conceptual understanding and how we, we, we feed material to you um, and, and work through it to give you that base level of understanding. But then I guess the question is, how do I make sure I'm not isolated? How do I get support when I need support? When I'm struggling, how do I how do I contact people? And we've said so much about this program is about community, about people, about being able to reach out, about fitting into into your time. Um, and we have these various mechanisms um, that, that that we run. The big ones um, that that we'll speak about in the next few slides are are just these interactive one-on-one -on -one discussions. Um, we've we've got booking software that looks something like this, where you can actually book sessions. You can go online, book a session uh, with a lecturer. We make times available um, at, at various times, and you can actually sit um, with lecturers and discuss these things. Um, this is what I'm struggling with. I'm not sure about this concept, that concept, and, and we can actually have discussions. We can um, do, as we said, numbers. We can uh, draw pictures about how things work and, and re have real hands-on discussions about how these work. Um, so that could be almost via a video chat or it could be on, on the phone. Okay, we also have text discussions. Sometimes the text discussions work well if you're studying at two in the morning um, and you wanna ask a question but, but everyone else is asleep at that, that point. So we have almost these text discussion forums um, and of course email that we always make sure we answer within um, one, one business day. Um, and then weekly, 
live online group discussions where we, where we get small groups of students together and we have discussions about the topic at, at hand and, and each subject will have one session a week uh, for 45 minutes and you can just get a link click on that and get into the discussion and, and we really have these interactive debates um, just about the topic at hand once you've worked through it uh, what's worked what's making sense what's not making sense um, and we chat through um, all, all of that likewise with shared whiteboards and we can we can have discussions and drawings and and, and interactives and really get to the heart um, of, of what what where we're struggling um, as a community because these things are obviously um, led in a lot of ways by lecturers but we encourage everyone to get involved and, and discuss this and unpack ideas and often uh, that's almost the sweet spot of education where everyone gets together and we explain things from different angles um, that's that's where we really get good at these types of things okay and then lastly also we have mentorship both but both from lecturers and past students we, we think it's so critical um, as, as lecturers we don't stand here and say we know everything we want to bring past students in who are successful because often they're the ones on the ground who know what you're going through so we connect you to those students um, uh, we call them mentors um, and then you can actually chat to them and, and work with them throughout the year to say what works what doesn't work what would you suggest as a past student who were just in my shoes uh, we see that as a critical part to to our community okay and that community word is, is is critical. I think possibly these pictures are a bit um, cliched with, with helping each other up, standing on each other's shoulders, getting together, working as a team. But that's what we try to do. We try to be real people who are there to help, to understand you, to figure out um, what it is that's going to take um, for you to succeed. It's not easy and it becomes a, a, a team um, effort, but, but that's the community and the platform we try to create. Uh, so, so when we ask, what is our online CTA? hopefully this gives you um, a, a sense of what we do. It's not uh, one thing, but it's a whole bunch of things that, that if they can work together, um, it, it can really be a rewarding and empowering process to, to I think, uh, become a really effective chartered accountant.